King's Tide. Clapping against that walkway and also the seawall. There's a dog there. It's on three foot trying to stay dry. Same thing for all things, Bianca. Very sunny today, but cool. Very cool. Yeah, and typically you could see a beach there. Um, all right there in Mitchell's Cove. No beach there today because of those king tides coming in. They're going to keep coming for the next couple of days, although they'll start to wind down a little bit. Let's take a look. But there is a coastal flood advisory for essentially the Bay shoreline up north of us. Um, locations up across the San Francisco Bay Area are dealing with f coastal flooding from the King Tides today. We didn't necessarily have any flooding here locally, but the water was very high. Today's tide was the highest of the set. Tomorrow's will be just a little bit shorter, but we'll still have a very high tide around 9.50 a.m. tomorrow morning. So if you're down near the water, places like the Elkhorn Slough, there's going to be a lot of water out there. Don't get yourself caught early tomorrow morning. Uh, uh, tide pooling as this big tide comes in because you may find yourself trapped against the cliffs on the north side of the bay, for example, just something to be aware of tomorrow. And then as we head into the day on Tuesday, too, we'll still have a pretty high tide, but it'll be a little bit less than that. Now, king tides are typical this time of year. We usually get a set in December, January, and February. One of the reasons is the Earth is actually closest to the sun, and the sun's gravity is pulling on our oceans as well. But the other thing that happens in January is it's typically our wettest year or wettest month of the year. So let's take a look at how much rain we typically see during the month of January. And in Salinas, we get about two and a half inches. Same in King City. Santa Cruz, you get usually around six and a half inches of rain, usually the wettest of the year. And for the most part, December is their coolest month of the year, so we actually start to warm up a little bit in January. Here are your average highs and lows for various cities across the Central Coast. So we're heading into the month of January. Obviously, we're a couple days in already. The question is, is it going to be the wettest month of the year? December is going to give you a run for your money, January. We'll take a look at any rain chances in that forecast coming up. All right, look forward to that. Thanks, Dan. You bet. If you still own a BlackBerry, you better sit down for this. I've got some bad news for you. Starting this Tuesday, the company will officially stop running its support for BlackBerry 10 7.1 OS and earlier. That means all of its older devices will no longer be able to use data, text messages, or even calls. Back in September of 2020, the company announced that news is an effort to focus on security software to enterprises and governments around the world using the name BlackBerry Limited. Well, we're just getting started tonight at 11 o'clock. The new year roared into the state of Kentucky. People are cleaning up after a major tornado flattens the community. And later, we'll show, you, we'll show you the moment an NFL player literally quits the team during a game. The rest of this very bizarre scene later in the newscast. For local stories that matter, watch KION 546. Chevy is taking people lots of places this holiday. We're going sledding! We're going to find the perfect tree. We're going to Nana. Let your Chevy dealer take you there with Chevy Red Tags, where the price you see is the price you pay. Happy holiday from Chevy. Find new places, find new roads. Very well qualified buyers may also be eligible to get 0% financing on all Silverado 1500 crew cab pickups. Plus, you may qualify for $500 bonus cash when you find your red tag. See your local Chevy dealer today. The more we learn about COVID-19, the more questions we have. The biggest question now, what's next? What will COVID bring in six months, a year? If you're feeling anxious about the future, you're not alone. Cal Hope offers free COVID-19 emotional support. Call 833-317-4673 or live chat at calhope.org today. California, the year-end sellathon is on at your California Ford dealers, the best place to get a new vehicle this winter. Get incredible offers on new cars, trucks, and SUVs arriving daily, and right now we're locking in huge year-end deals on any custom order, too. Get 0 for 60 plus 2,500 bonus cash on a 2021 Ford F-150 Ranger and Escape Edge or Explorer. Come get a great deal across the Ford lineup, including Ford F-Series, the best-selling trucks for 44 years and counting. The final days of the year-end sellathon are on, so come see your California Ford dealer before January 3rd. Wherever you watch, more local news than anyone else on the Central Coast. Imagine if information came with a nutrition label. Then you'd know if what you're consuming has the right mix of facts, sources, and context. But it's on us to make healthier choices about what to consume, share, and act on. Get News Lit Fit at newslit.org. Get the app, get the alert. Be the first to know about breaking news with the KION News app. 
sunny and brisk today, Dan. Felt good out there. Yeah, it was a cold start to the day. Probably one of the colder days we've had in the wintertime on so far. For example, we had a couple spots in the low 20s. And the Santa Clara Valley, uh, places like San Martin, got down to 26 overnight. Wow. So some very cold temperatures. Ooh. But the afternoon was pretty nice once the sun came out. If you were in the sun, it felt pretty nice. Let's see if we can roll our weather graphics here. And voila. Sunset from Salinas tonight, a little bit of color in the sky at the end of the day. And Salinas tied with Coralitos as our hot spot. 62 is a high today. Soledad, 61. Monterey hit 60. Santa Cruz stayed in the upper 50s, as did Hollister. Priest Valley, our cool spot at 51 degrees this afternoon. The bigger picture is showing the next weather system on the way, however, and the frontal systems are still off into northern California, bringing some rain to the Pacific Northwest, and they will drift into our region late tomorrow. Ahead of that, we already have some high clouds that have been moving their way in, and those clouds have allowed for temperatures to be a little bit warmer than they were this time last night, in addition to the fact that today's highs were just a touch warmer than yesterday as well. So for the most part, we're, wanting, we're running warmer than we were this time last night in most locations. Uh, still cool, but not quite as brisk with 40s around the bay. A few spots inland getting into the 30s, and in some cases like the Hernandez Valley, you're down to 29 degrees. And the temperatures along the coast probably going to stay in the low 40s for most of the overnight as the clouds kind of hang around. And we'll take a look at how those clouds look on future casts. The southerly flow generally ahead of our weather system will keep pushing clouds up against the Santa Lucias and also the Santa Cruz Mountains. That's going to keep us somewhat filled with clouds around the bay overnight tonight. And it's actually possible we may squeeze a little bit of drizzle out of it. The air is still pretty dry, so that may be tough to come by. But I can't rule out just a little spritz on your windshield if you're going to be out and about overnight or into the morning commute. But generally speaking, you no know, rain is expected until later on in the day. Let's take a look at how that plays out. So we head to lunchtime, still looking at mostly cloudy skies around the coast, partly cloudy skies inland. As we head into 4 p.m., now we're starting to see some of that green show up. So later in the afternoon tomorrow, we'll see the chance of some light rain developing across Santa Cruz County and perhaps to some extent right along coastal areas of Monterey County. If this does happen, it will be very light at first and slowly become just like regularly light. And I don't think we'll ever really get to moderate rain with this system. So just light, light, and then later on, regular lights as we head into the late evening hours. And notice it's mostly the Santa Cruz Mountains and to some extent the Santa Lucias that tend to pick up most of this light precipitation. As we head to midnight tomorrow night, we'll start to see it spread a little bit inland. But if you live in an inland valley, and you've got a hill to your west or to your south, you're probably not going to see much precipitation from this event as it's fairly shallow, close to the surface, and uh, those mountains tend to block a lot of that moisture. With that said, a few sprinkles lingering all the way into Tuesday morning before all is said and done, and generally light amounts expected to develop with this system with a few hundreds for places on the south side of the bay, upwards of maybe a quarter of an inch for cities on the north side of the bay. And at the very highest, I think the coastal mountains could see maybe a half an inch, but that might be a bit of a stretch. Otherwise, temperatures tomorrow looking like this. Pretty chilly across Santa Cruz County with southerly winds off the water. We're going to stay in the upper 40s to low 50s for most cities, and you'll stay in the clouds for most of the day. Santa Cruz only topping out at 54. 58 in Salinas tomorrow, 57 in Hollister. Over to the Monterey Peninsula, we'll see a high temperature of 57 in Monterey, and then points southward, mostly in the 50s as well, with an increase in clouds tomorrow. Over the next seven days, we have another chance of rain coming on later in the week. That will be on Friday. Right now, it actually kind of looks similar to the one we're going to experience tomorrow night into Tuesday, which is not all that fun and exciting, but just some light stuff. But we'll keep an eye on it. That could change a little bit in the meantime. Temperatures, highs at least, expected to be seasonable to slightly cool for this time of year for the next seven days. Inland areas, a very similar story in that we'll have another chance of rain later on in the week. Highs may be a little bit warmer inland on Wednesday and Thursday, perhaps just a touch warm for this time of year, but generally we're still going to be seeing highs within a few degrees of your normal highs for the first week of January this time of year. All right, so. sounds good. We'll take